crates. So you'll see lots of these orange crates all throughout campus. They're typically outside major university offices. So like uh, SPIA has one, the School of Science has one, lots the library has one, Honors College. And you'll see that people can just fill these donations up then. Every now and then we send volunteers out and circle around these crates and pick up any donations that way. This is where we'll start addressing our needs come fall. So it used to be this used to be awful, like macaroni and cheese, uh, lots of cereal, pop tarts. This was like our breakfast. As you can see, we still have a few items left. But as you can see, we're running low. We have some empty spaces. So once the fall starts back up and we start pushing out our food drives, I know we're trying to team up with Regatta and we have a, a food drive plan with SPIA with their Public Safety Career Day. Um, we will ask for lots of breakfast items so we can get this all filled back up. Um, you, we also go through like spaghetti sauce a lot, so this is about all we have left here, so we'll eventually have to start asking for that. So this is where all of our extra food go to and anything that can't fit in the actual pantry itself comes here. Food pantries have this negative stereotype that only people in poverty or food stamps can use them. We want to be known as this is a food pantry run by the students for all students.